Promoting power sources that use hydrogen as a clean fuel is one way to advance the shift as the globe struggles to switch to green fuels in order to reach carbon neutrality. A novel method for a hydrogen-powered passenger automobile engine has just been created by South Korean experts and it promises to make mass production more feasible. A 2-litre direct-injection hydrogen engine that only uses hydrogen fuel is the heart of the Zero Carbon Engine Research Lab of Hyundai Kia Motor Company HMC, and the powertrain created by researchers at the Korea Institute of Machinery and Materials KIMM. According to the team, the recently developed hydrogen engine technology is an instantaneous and economical technology that can help replace fossil fuels, which are currently used as the primary source of power for vehicles with carbon-free hydrogen fuels, said Young Choi, principal researcher and a member of the Department of Mobility Power Research of KIMM, in a statement. More efficient and superior performance By injecting the power through an upper inhaling port rather than the cylinder, a port injection engine, a type of conventional internal combustion powertrain that uses hydrogen fuel, burns hydrogen as fuel after mixing it with air. The area taken up by the hydrogen fuel, which is present in a gaseous state, as a result of this architecture, reduces the amount of air that enters the combustion chamber. As a result, the hydrogen fuel and air backfire, decreasing fuel efficiency and engine performance. High-pressure hydrogen was immediately pumped into the combustion chamber by researchers to address this issue. According to the study, this method uses a premixture combustion that enables ultra-lean combustion and has the benefit of no pumping loss because the output is controlled by the amount of fuel injected without throttling the intake air. In addition, backfire, a common problem with hydrogen-powered motors, is avoided because there isn't any hydrogen gas in the intake pipe. Because of the reduction in combustion temperature, ultra-lean combustion results in reduced NOx emissions and good thermal efficiency under partial load conditions. The team claims that the newly created hydrogen engine reduces carbon dioxide and fine dust emissions by 98% and 90% respectively when compared to gasoline engines in order to meet EU or European Union rules for zero emission vehicles. Furthermore, the hydrogen engine operates with a high thermal efficiency of up to 40% and emits nitrogen oxides at a level of less than 15 ppm, all without the use of an exhaust gas cleaning system known as an after-treatment system. With crude oil being the most common source of energy for automobiles and the main cause of air pollution and global warming brought on by vehicle exhaust gas, there is growing interest in power sources that use hydrogen as a clean fuel as a means of addressing the finite nature of crude oil. The internal combustion engine will continue to be the primary source of vehicle power for many years to come, despite the growing trend of electrification for both passenger and commercial vehicles using hydrogen fuel cells and batteries. As a result, using hydrogen as a fuel in the medium term to cut CO2 emissions from internal combustion engines has the benefit of meeting consumer demand for low-emission automobiles and utilizing the infrastructure for a society dependent on hydrogen. According to reports, hydrogen-fueled engines have proven to be more efficient than traditional petroleum engines. It is anticipated that hydrogen will help reduce vehicle exhaust emissions and reliance on traditional hydrocarbon fuels the engine that uses hydrogen fuel through modifications to an existing gasoline engine or diesel engine is often the hydrogen engine that is most frequently looked into. Due to the flexibility of hydrogen fuel, operating the engine experimentally usually presents no problems, even though some parts, like the fuel pump and injector, are not ideal for a hydrogen engine. But since the properties of hydrogen fuel differ from those of hydrocarbon fuels, it is preferable to design a new hydrogen engine from the ground up with the properties of hydrogen fuel in mind. A port fuel injection and an in-cylinder direct injection method are two different ways to supply fuel. It is frequently used to use the positive ignition approach since hydrogen has a high self-ignition temperature and is challenging to ignite via compression. According to a report, the fuel injection components and engine management of an internal combustion engine running on hydrogen fuel must be adjusted appropriately. The majority of earlier research on hydrogen engines for cars used this approach because it makes it simple to construct the hydrogen engine with the intake port injection system. 
This fuel supply can be changed from the current gasoline engine to one that runs on hydrogen. This technique makes use of a premixture combustion that permits ultra-lean combustion and has the benefit of no pumping loss because the output is managed by the amount of fuel injected without restricting the intake air. As a result, at partial load situations, excellent thermal efficiency may be achieved, and due to the lower combustion temperature, ultra-lean combustion produces little NOx. Pre-ignition, which causes backfire, can happen readily in the high load region where a rich mixer is utilized. Concern has been raised concerning the potential for backfire in the port fuel injection system. The heat source in the cylinder's intake manifold during the intake stroke causes the fuel-air combination to explode, which is what this is known as. According to one study, the combustion caused by backfire can result in damage to the valve system since it raises the intake manifold pressure, which in turn increases valve system wear. A hydrogen supply nozzle at the end of the fuel injector is situated as near to the intake valve as feasible or hydrogen is sporadically injected during the intake stroke to diminish the combustible mixture that still remains in the intake manifold to suppress backfire. The intermittent injection strategy has been found to lessen the amount of hydrogen gas left in the intake manifold, but is ineffective in preventing backfire. Due to a significant decrease in output, a backfire is not ideal for a vehicle power source which requires a high level of output performance such as a general gasoline engine that uses hydrogen, because it most frequently occurs in relatively rich mixture conditions rather than lean mixtures. The in-cylinder hydrogen fuel injection method, on the other hand, operates similarly to a diesel engine in that only air is introduced during the intake stroke and hydrogen gas is directly injected into the cylinder during the compression stroke. Simply put, backfire doesn't happen because there isn't hydrogen gas in the intake pipe. Likewise, the issue of low output is also resolved at the same time since the amount of intake air grows according to the volume of hydrogen gas fed into the cylinder. Depending on the timing of the injection of hydrogen gas, the in-cylinder direct injection method can be classified into early and late injections. By injecting hydrogen gas during the first half of the compression stroke, the early direct injection method enables the use of fuel with a relatively low pressure. Although backfire does not happen, there is a chance of pre-ignition because the combustible mixture flows with the flow in the cylinder during the compression stroke, which could happen before the premixture is ignited by any heat source. Because diffusion combustion, like diesel, happens when high-pressure hydrogen gas is injected at the end of the compression stroke, the late direct injection technique is the only one that can regulate the combustion rate when utilizing hydrogen fuel. The late direct injection technique runs the danger of both pre-ignition and backfire. It is also feasible to get a high compression ratio and the output can be enhanced. A reliable and airtight high-pressure hydrogen fuel delivery system as well as a high-pressure hydrogen fuel injector must be created, nevertheless. For hydrogen direct injection systems, glow plugs have been regarded as a reliable hydrogen ignition source. An engine for cooperative fuel research has been used to examine a stable ignition state. An electromagnetically operated gas injector, Westport Innovation Incorporation, is used to precisely set injection and spark timing in a single-cylinder hydrogen engine in order to demonstrate the viability of a hydrogen direct injection system. To confirm the long-term viability of the new technology, the team plans to put the engine through rigorous testing. Likewise, it will look at the possibility of advancing this technology for use in commercial trucks, passenger cars, and power plants. We will take the lead in achieving carbon neutrality, said Young, through constant research and development of technologies for producing electricity using fuels that don't emit carbon. With that being said, what do you think of this innovative 2-litre hydrogen engine so far? Share your thoughts in the comment box below. And if you've watched up to this point, thank you so much. For more videos about EVs, Toyota, Tesla, Ford, and the most recent auto news, please consider subscribing to Tech Addicts.